Hello, my awesome and amazing Scorpios. It's Mel with Blue Scorpion Tarot here to bring you another general collective reading. Let's see what's going on in the overall energy dynamics. Calling upon the trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers to bring in the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth through the power of the numbers. And so it is. And of course, rolling the dice to see what I need to shuffle the deck to. We had the power of number four. We got the number 10. And power of number seven. Looks like we are going to the number 21. 21 in tarot. What is it, you guys? The world card. Closing out an old karmic pattern or cycle or closing out something that just is not serving your highest purpose so that you can set forth for a new beginning. And yes, technically today is September 1st of 2023. So happy September. Mm -hmm. Some of you Scorpios could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. You may also be dealing with a Libra and or another Scorpio born in the month of October. You may also be dealing with a Cancerian or a Leo born in the month of July. You could also be dealing with another Scorpio born in the month of November and or a Sagittarius born at the latter part of November. You may also be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Capricorn born in the month of December. You may also be dealing with a Capricorn or an Aquarius born in the month of January. Also picking up on Aquarius and Pisces energy born in the month of February. Strong Sagittarius energy again through the power of number 14. Also picking up on Gemini, Aries, and Virgo energy through the number one because that would be the Magician card. Strong Aries energy again through the number zero, which is the Fool. More strong Aquarius energy through the number 17. You may also be dealing with a fixed sign. An Aquarius, a Taurus, a Leo, or again, another Scorpio. Okay, and strong Pisces energy through the number 12, which would be the hanged man card. So we could see the emperor kick in, possibly the wheel of fortune, preferably. I'd like to see the 10 of cups and or the 10 of pentacles. Any of the aces would be fantastic. Any of the pages or the knights or the kings may show up in this reading. Possibly the star card. You could already be an established celebrity. Maybe you're married to an established celebrity or you are a celebrity. Or there could be a celebrity that is spying in on you. Okay. You may also be dealing with the sign of Libra. Picking up on the power of number 11. That's the justice card. Or you could be dealing with something in the legal system. More specifically, there could be a child custody battle. Maybe a divorce or an impending divorce that's going on right now split, separation, breakup, etc. Okay, so go into the power number 21 for the beautiful star sign of Scorpio. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, and 21. Trusted ancestors of my Scorpio viewers and subscribers, what is the overall general collective message, please? What does Scorpio need to know at this time frame? Show me what's up. The Emperor, power of number four. Number four came up on the first roll of the dice. Yes, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Taurus born in the month of April. Something about bossing up or leveling up or somebody is going to level up and possibly in a romantic connection, okay? You never know. You may be gearing up to cut something or someone out of your life, Scorpio. Or you are waiting for your divine counterpart to make his or her presence known. 
Here you are, Scorpio, Queen of Cups. Somebody here is in love with you. Okay, somebody could be praying for you, manifesting for you. You could be manifesting for someone in particular. Something about plans, plans for the future. It could be about taking a vacation, possibly in the next two weeks. Some of you guys are gearing up here in the United States to go away maybe for the Labor Day weekend, okay? Somebody's looking off into the distant horizons. They're in this visualization mode. They could be thinking about you or this person could be at a distance from you. You could be thinking about bossing up, maybe moving, moving out of the local city that you live in to go live somewhere else. It could very well be true that maybe you feel that your environment has become highly toxic. Maybe you're just getting tired of seeing the same old, same old faces. Nothing changes. Nothing grows. You need expansion. Could be a very strong, solid reason <clears throat> why you may want to move for those of you who have been thinking about it. Okay. Okay. Maybe the environment that you live in has brought you much sorrow and upset or heartbreak. Somebody could have called it quits with you. Or there is an impending divorce or a breakup that's going to be happening. So fair warnings for armed. Time to get your walls of protection up. Okay. Somebody was taking their sweet ass time. Or maybe they moved on to greener pastures. You could be dealing with an earth sign, a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. You may also be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, or possibly Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Okay, so there's an impending breakup. Again, fair warnings for arms. Or this person left you in a, such a disarray of emotion. See, the emperor is looking in that direction while the queen is kind of looking downwards. Feeling some sense of sorrow or maybe a sense of loss. Or right now, you just feel the environment. You need a change. The pathway, the pathway to success. Call on your trusted ancestors, your spirit guides, your guardian angels to keep you on the path of least resistance. You're supposed to go through a major transformation because we have the imagery of the butterflies on this pathway. Or you need to go and connect with nature if you feel inspired to do so. You may need to ground your energy or go into some form of solitude to really think things out where your future is going and stop settling for breadcrumbs, stop settling for the way that you get treated by your friends, your family members. It's time for a change and you're going to you're gonna have to be the one Scorpio to make the change. High honor. This is about you gaining some form of respect. You could also be dealing with somebody in the military. They could be a cop or maybe even a lawyer, a judge, an EMT. Maybe they're a firefighter more specifically. But now this is high honor, high recognition, high achievement. And maybe you feel that you are advancing somewhere in your life, Scorpio, but maybe you're just not getting the support from your friends or your loved ones. So I feel like it's time to move on. It's time to go. Yeah, some of you right now could be daydreaming or trying to believe as a child believes or there literally could be children involved. Somebody could have abandoned you. You could have been pregnant. They abandoned you, etc. You and the child. But there's the, the image of the bunny rabbit and the bunny rabbit also represents fertility. So also new projects, new idea. And yes, pregnant. You could be literally pregnant right now, getting ready to give birth. Okay. It almost feels here too, that somebody took away your innocence, whether you were physically abused as a child could have been one thing. And you could be definitely going through a healing phase with that. But a lot of you may feel that you were treated unfairly as a child or told to remain silent when maybe a lot of you Scorpios were highly intuitive growing up. You could have been hushed up, silenced. 
could have been controlled by religion. Your life is supposed to elevate high honor, recognition, achievement, advancement. Your inner child, yes, you could be obviously in your adult years and going through childhood trauma that needs to be healed. And maybe staying in the environment that you're in, Scorpio, is not exactly healthy. It may not even be helping you to heal if there is past childhood wounds. There's a false person. Somebody falsified their love for you. There's also false friends, false family members. Judication. Like I said, there could be an impending divorce. I feel like somebody got caught cheating. There was a third party. Your life is supposed to elevate somewhere else, Scorpio. It may not exactly be in the environment that you're in right now. Some of you could have recently moved for that change. Be patient with yourself. Keep moving forward. Be that racehorse with blinders on right now. You're meant to level up. Who is this false person? Could be an Aquarius, more specifically. Or, again, power number 17. You could be an established celebrity right now, or you're married to a celebrity, or a celebrity spying in on you. But there's a false marriage. There's a false uh, connection that's going on. Message from the star, queen of swords, could be a mother figure, a grandmother, an aunt, an uncle, cousins, queen of swords, very cold hearted. They're going to see you rise to the top. They may try to come in with false apologies. You never know. Show me the antics of this queen of swords. Sun card, you can be dealing with the Leo. Remember, though, this is all stemming from the false person. Falsified antics. There is massive jealousy I'm picking up here. Combining the energy of the false person with the queen of swords. Yes, this person is highly combat, like competitive and or combative. Or they are feeling internally like a, an internal battle because you're rising to the top. And maybe this person, their level of success, it's not rising to the top. There, I told you there's jealousy. There's jealousy possibly going on in the family. But see, you need to keep your walls of protection up because your twin flame, your soulmate, your divine connection... These people do not have your best interests at heart. Why the conflict? What is it really all about? Yeah, because they're ice cold. You're as cold as ice. They think you might be the cold one. King of Swords, but you might have cut these people out, Scorpio. I feel like you did. False apology. Again, clarifying the sun to the queen of swords, to the star card, to the false person. And then the two side cards. The connection between queen of swords and the false person. A combative person. A jealous person. Somebody who has no emotion but a false apology. Page of cups. This person's false. They're a liar. Because they got a judgment call on them. But the hanged man, they want to keep you stuck. They don't want to see you move forward, Scorpio. It's 
Some of them think that you're selfish when in truth you're not. They, this Whoever this false person is, they want to keep you stuck in your head. They want to keep you confused. Yep, it is the truth. Ace of Swords. This person wants to keep you confused. So your friends, a former lover, whatever the case may be, don't fall for this false apology. Don't walk back into the lion's den. I know it's tempting. You want to be the bigger person. It's not like we haven't had this energy come up before, but right now there could be, in a way, a spiritual warfare that's going on between you and certain friends and family members and their energy frequency. Your path is not their path and their path is not your path. You are going to get this high level of recognition from the divine. These people will go down in their own way. They can go ahead and keep talking smack until they're blue in the face. They can keep talking smack about you, Scorp. It don't matter. I know, like I said, I know it's tempting. You think, God, I want to be the bigger person. And maybe they are being honest. Maybe, no, they're not. They're not being honest. They don't care. They don't care. I've got a three of swords and combative energy, a king of swords. It's all coming from a false person, false antics. Because they're expecting you somewhere in the grand scheme of it all, whatever happened between you and certain people or family dynamics, etc. It's like they're expecting you to apologize. They can kiss your ass, Scorpio. Bottom line. It's hard. It's emotionally difficult. And I feel you. I battle with this myself. So you're not alone. You're leveling to boss up, be on that path of least resistance. What is the reward of the pathway, trusted ancestors? Well, we got the fool card. Aries energy again. The, you ask to stay on the path of least resistance. You're going to have new opportunities. You're going to fight your fears. You're going to fight the fear of the dragon. Okay? Whether that dragon is within inside of you or the dragon is outside of you, you will fight your fears. I got goosebumps running up my right thigh, you guys. You will face your fears. You will fight your fears. And you will move and proceed forward with ultimate strength. Bottom of the deck. You are a warrior. These people are nothing. They are nothing. Message from the fool. Six of cups. You will be on the pathway to your true soulmate. Six of cups. This person. See, these people, they're coming in as the devil. They want to keep you down. They want to keep you stuck or trapped. They want you to give up. They want you to give up on your goals, your dreams. They think you're you know, crazy for whatever it is that you do. It doesn't matter. They can throw out all the excuses in the book, you guys. These people are vital. They're vultures. They're dirty birds. Let's just put it that way. They're false. I also picking up false twin flame, false soulmate. Picking up on karmic soulmate. Your true divine. Listen, when you keep building that relationship with your trusted ancestors who have gone before you, that have physically been on this earth, they know your energy better than anybody because their DNA runs through your DNA. Okay? They're trying to keep you on the path of least resistance to this high honor and to your true love. Do not walk back into the lion's den. It's coming back up again. That statement. And it's, it's, it's interesting because, you know, we're at that season where we're going into, you know, the fall. When we're going into the fall time process, now all these holidays start kicking in and everybody's trying to get into the mood and, you know, they're going to try to tempt you. They're going to try to tempt you with their false, fake attitude and pretend like they're really happy for you when they can't stand your guts. 
because you've got some kind of winning victory or bossing up or taking something to the next phase or having the ultimate relationship better than what they got. <laughs> A lot of you are going to become the first millionaire or billionaire in your family, provided you take out the noise. Don't listen to the naysayers. Tune out the noise. Rise above the noise. It's hard. It's emotionally draining, you guys. It's emotionally draining to go back and forth all the time with these stupid-ass people. And that's what they are. They're stupid -o. They, they, they don't have any real, true knowledge or power. They don't know how to own their power. They take their ego as a sense of power, and then they try to control, dominate, and manipulate over your mindset to keep you stuck or trapped up in your head like you don't know what the hell you're talking about. That's why I said it might be beneficial, you guys, to move and go heal thyself. Yeah, you maybe if you stay in the environment, it's going to be nothing but deception. Moon card, you could be dealing with a Cancerian. Message from the moon. Yeah, if you move on, you'll probably get a bigger reward. But there could have also been deception about a family inheritance. This is from the Ace of Coins. The Hierophant. You need to keep the faith, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Taurus or a Gemini born in the month of May. Could be dealing again Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn for some of you. But listen, no, you need to keep the faith. A lot of you are highly spiritually protected. You're spiritually gifted. Knight of Cups, you move on, you move away, you go where you need to go, where your soul is calling you. You've got the knight coming in. And that knight, I feel, is going to turn into the emperor as well. Message from the Knight of Cups. And there you go. You have a king. You have somebody going from a knight to a king to an emperor. Or you can look at it as knight to the queen, to the empress. These people will have guilt, remorse, regret. If you feel compelled to move or to leave, you got to put the work in. You got to figure out what your plan of action is. Don't just dive into the deep end without a plan. If you feel you got to move away, if you can't do it right now, can it be done in six months? Could it be done in one year? Can you handle your environment for one more year? You stay, for some of you, if you stay, and depending on all of your dynamics and what you're dealing with, you stay <clears throat> in the local vicinity where you're at, you may end up going through more sorrow, more heartbreak, more grief. I feel like it's time for you to expand your horizon, Scorpio. You've been highly mistreated, mistreated, misjudged, judgment calls thrown on you left and right. People thinking that you're crazy, you're not crazy. The change happens when you decide to make the change. This is like, again, your trusted ancestors are calling you to be strong, to be brave, to be the warrior, to go after and be, stop being so submissive to these people that don't give a damn about you. They don't. I've always said, you guys, it doesn't matter if you become successful inside of your family or outside of your family. There's always going to be a jealous snake in the grass, okay? And there could be more than one. Your consciousness, when you really elevate into true spiritual awareness and real consciousness, tapping out of that 3D matrix, these people can't hold a candle to you. I've said that statement before, too.
Your energy frequency is not going to vibrate with them. You'll have nothing to talk about with them. They're going to have nothing to talk with, talk about with you. Oh, what are you going to talk about? Oh, how was your day? Oh, the weather. Oh, okay. Uh huh. You can't talk to them about the education, the knowledge, the experience, the internal wisdom. They don't. They won't get you. They'll think you're crazy talking about stupid ass stuff when their mind has been so conditioned by religion. They don't know any better because they're lazy and they don't do their research. They have no damn clue. They're on the matrix programming. Bottom line. Time to move on, Scorpio. Make it happen. In due time, the puzzle pieces start to fall together for you. Stop thinking that you're helpless, that you're powerless. You're not powerless. We give so much of our power away to people, places, things, and situations instead of putting the power back inside of us. Understanding what it means to be connected to true source. We can always do better. We are here to live our best life, not to be dragged down in the mud, in the quicksand. Not only a stupidity, but these vultures that pretty much want to tear you apart. Because they don't, they, don't, they don't have purpose. They don't even know what their purpose is. They're just doing their day in, day out routine. And I'm not saying these people never had a dream of their own. They just don't have the wisdom, the knowledge to go after and get what they want because they're lazy. That's why they're lazy. They might have even thought you were lazy. Far from that. Most Scorpios I've known are hard workers. You know, and it's a shame us Scorpios, we get such a bad rap. People don't know us, then that's okay. They'll figure it out. You know, they'll figure out what it means to change. You be the ultimate change. Time to rise and shine, Scorpio, and get that high honor. The divine will be rewarding you because you're going to take action. Pay off your karmic debts. A lot of you have paid off your karmic debts. You become a better person. You become more consistent, more proactive. And if you haven't, get on the bandwagon. Because it's time to rock your life out, okay? And start becoming the better version of you. My awesome and amazing Scorpios, if you would like to book a personal reading with me for your situation and do it through the power of the numbers, you can hit me up at bluescorpiongifts at gmail.com and my amazing assistant, Victoria will book you for that personal reading. But until next time, take care.